We're going to try something a little new for this video, so let us know how you like this format after the video is done. We're still trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing, so your input is definitely needed during this. Uh, last time we left off moving our way into Washington, and this time we are going to Mount St. Helens. And so we ended up on one of these more remote roads getting to the backside of Mount St. Helens. I'm not sure exactly how we ended up there, but it really was a very cool drive. Uh, had some amazing views, and it took us to a very unique spot uh, for Ma Mount St. Helens, which I really enjoyed. So Yeah, and it was great to be in the same era as an eruption of a, a volcano. Um, we were talking about how awesome it was to be at Crater Lake, but that kind of happened thousands of years ago, and it was great to be in a current event um, site and to see the effects of it. Um, on the landscape. It was really, really neat. With that said, let's get into it. Well, as you can see in the last couple pieces of footage there, uh, Crystal is definitely not a fan of shelf roads. Uh, no, yeah. no, it's terrifying. I don't even know what happens, but I just envision us flying off the side. Too many movies. I blame media. <laughs> we'll go with that. She's envisioning our whole house rolling down the side of the mountain, which <laughs> is definitely not going to happen. But No, I, yeah. I trust you. It's not a trust thing. It's a terror. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we yeah. drove from there all the way to Mount Rainier, and Mount Rainier is just, there's something magical about it. And I know, Haley, you know how magical it is, but the wildflowers and the snow and just, just the, the, the water, the, the animals, it's just incredible. And it's really long, sorry. And um, so we okay. went, <laughs> we went hiking on the Skyline Trail. Tell me, if you want to hike something really beautiful, please, and you're close by, please take it up. Um, it's just, uh, you're, you're, it is a steep incline. Please know that it is a hike, um, but you get to see snow and the overlooks of the mountain peaks all around. It's just, it's incredible. So I felt like I could sing um, for days <laughs> after that. It just, it lifted my heart. So yeah, definitely check that place out. It was definitely a great hike and here is the footage of that.
that hike was just beautiful. The mountains upon mountains was fantastic. The views of Rainier were unbelievable. Just all around a great hike. I think it was about six miles round trip. Um, it's a nice big loop all the way around. Certainly, you want to check it out. As Crystal said earlier, it was one of her favorite hikes, probably that we've done on this trip yet. Yes. Um, I'd love to go back, and I'd like to summit Rainier. Um, I've seen so uh, we were watching so many people climb up the side of the mountain, which was awesome. Uh, if you've done it and you have any tips, let us know in the comments. Um, that way, I can go back and I can do some research on this. But it's always good to hear from somebody that's done it before. So, but after Rainier, uh, we headed to this awesome camp on the edge of a cliff uh but it was it was it was a little bit of a, a trek to get in and we got some good footage of us off-roading amazing way to exit the Pacific Northwest. It captured um, the essence of mountains and the love that we have for the out, the back country, I guess. We spent a lot of time in the Pacific Northwest and this was definitely a good ending. So we appreciate you following along in our travels. Again, let us know what you think of this video format. We're still trying to change things up and figure this out. Uh, so let us know in the comments below if this was thumbs down or thumbs up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, Until uh. next time. Cheers.